Hi, this is Jack Rondoni. I'm the Vice President of Storage Networking at Brocade, and very excited to have with me here um, Vikram Carvet, Vice President of Products with QLogic. Thanks, Jack. Great to be here. Yeah, so, so really what we wanted to do today was just talk about the partnership between Brocade and QLogic. And um, the interesting thing about this relationship is, you know, we were, we were there at the beginning, right? We were there at the beginning of the shared storage um, you know, phenomena years ago, right? As the businesses evolved and businesses consolidated or products consolidated, really we find ourselves also now at a, at a point where we're working very collaboratively again. We're really driving a lot of innovation in the market. The acquisition of some of the Brocade Adapter assets, we also announced a go-to-market and technology alliance. That's right. Uh, and uh, over the last year, we've been working pretty diligently in coming up with some uh, pretty innovative uh, features to uh, enhance the value of fiber channel for the end user. And this past October, uh, we actually announced the first set of those features we've been working on for quite some time. So it's uh, pretty exciting. One in particular, um, the uh, Brocade ClearLink um, technology is just uh, one of those features that um, our end user community just absolutely loves. And with this uh, support in QLogic Project, when we first introduced it, it was switch only, and, and they said, oh, that's great, I love that, but what about the adapter? And then with the partnership announced in January, with you guys bringing that to market, it is going to make such an impact on the uh, end user fiber channel community mm -hmm. that it's, it's really going to be very exciting. So really what ClearLink is, is it's a optic and uh, cable um, diagnostic tool. So what basically ClearLink does is it takes advantage of features we have in the ASIC, capabilities that within the optic that basically go and look at the connection between the electrical optical interface and then look at the connection between um, both endpoints, including a patch panel, all the way to the other side. And so basically what it gives you in a very clean either CLI or GUI output is what does that physical layer look like? Mm -hmm. Is it very clean end to end? And we do it at full speed. Because what happens is the cable vendors will go there and do a little basic check, but it really doesn't simulate the real world. And the real world is cranking up an Oracle database. So now with uh, essentially a point and click from a central console, you have the ability to uh, view the physical connectivity across your SAN, across all ports, from all the way from the host through to the through the switch and all the way to your storage target. Really the core value for our customers of Fabric Vision really has to do with just dramatically reducing operational cost. You know, it's a mm -hmm. core element of what the, the Fabric Vision brings. It's also about um, you know increasing availability and the reliability of the environment. You know, really a core core um, element of the value of fiber channel. You know, and the third is then simplifying management. Um, you know, those are the core elements of what our fiber vision technology brings to the um, fiber channel install base. Could you maybe talk about how some of the end-to-end -end capabilities that we've been developing together fit within that fiber vision framework? If I look at it all the way back from uh, the QLogic ASIC architecture, you know, we've always had this model of having uh, complete port isolation, right? which basically says that you know, all the resources that are on the ASIC are completely independent between ports. The, the reliability that results from that is significant. One port can go down, the other one will keep going. Uh, we can update firmware on one while the other one is going. Now as we start extending that into the fabric, uh, you know, we talked about ClearLink, right? Now being able to uh, diagnose uh, cabling and optics issues. And in the context of uh, fabric vision, uh, we just completed some work uh, on integrating with uh, BNA, mm -hmm. which now lets uh, the end user have a single pane of glass view of not only the brocade switches, but also the QLogic adapters. That's right. So that, if you look at it from an IT operations perspective, significantly simplifies Absolutely. people's lives. Absolutely. And, you know, the other, the other interesting thing that, that I love about the partnership too is is you know QLogic gets the core value that Fiber Channel is about, right? You know you mentioned the ASIC in terms of the isolation of um, you know the port failure over, right? Um, because those are truly why people continue to deploy Fiber Channel, right? Mm -hmm. It's this just you know inherent resiliency and availability that is so important, which is why applications years ago were always put on Fiber Channel, right? Mm -hmm. They weren't necessarily put on on NAS, right, or other shared storage technologies. And the technology and the capability to then go implement this is what gets us excited, right? 
So Vic, really enjoyed uh, today, right? Um, it's, it's exciting to see, you know, ClearLink. Um, we're so excited about that. The customers are gonna love it. Um, and really, really excited about this partnership, building on what we've done for Gen 5 and just taking it beyond, right? Taking it to Gen 6, taking it to Gen 7, taking it to Ethernet. Um, so thank you, right, um, for being a great partner. Thank you for being an innovator in the market. And we look forward to um, building on this relationship in the future.